All right, guys, back in the shop. Another box to unbox. This time, we've got the Monthly Knife Club Ultimate Box here with us. This should be a fun one. This one he sends, I don't pay for this, okay? I've never paid for the Ultimate Box ever. He has sent me ones that were extras, extras above and beyond um, the, we don't need a magazine spring, above and beyond, you know, that he had for subscribers. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna get into the Ultimate Box. It's upside down because the shipping label's on the other side. Not that it's my address anymore, but. So let's see what we've got in this September 2022 Ultimate Box. Stuff's falling out. We've got stuff. we got a Velcro patch. I've got, I'm making a new big patch panel, which would be cool. This uh, has opened, but okay, not a big deal. Not a big deal. This is the card for everything. So, that's heavy. I'm gonna hit somebody with that. Let's organize. So, this is a multi-tiered plan like everyone else uh, offers. You know, everybody has like plans of different levels. Um, so with multi with monthly multi knife club with monthly knife club, you can get things like the onyx, which I've already done. You should have probably already seen by now, uh, which is my absolute favorite for building a nice little collection there. Um, but you can also get uh, it, so what I'm trying to say is individual knife subscriptions, or you can get different boxes which come with knives and other accessories. And the ultimate box is the culmination of the advanced, the premium, the ultimate, you get everything. Um, and I believe sometimes it includes some of the other tiered items. I, I, guys, I'm all over the place right now. But anyway, we're gonna go over all this stuff. And you know, Daryl even says, look, some, some of the things he understands I might find to be a little meh, because it's me, because I find things to be meh sometimes. But um, this is what's in the box. So first we're gonna go with the key gear magnifier lens. We're starting with the advanced. Um, that's right, because it, you know, it, there's, anyway. So we're gonna start here, the advanced plan, key gear magnifier lens, value of $6.99. I guess that's this guy. Right here, key gear. Magnifier lens. Uh, if I can use this as a monocle to look fancy, I'm gonna be super happy, actually. If I can just open this package, I'm gonna be super happy. I'm still working on setting up a new video space outside of the shop, by the way, guys. So this is what I said was heavy and I said I was gonna hit people with, but now I know it's a magnifying lens. I probably don't wanna hit people. Um, so nice, uh, I, lo I love the flat key rings. Very easy to work with. So how does this work? Do we we, oh, we go like that. Do, 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 do. I can play Mr. Monopoly guy. But you know, he doesn't always have a monocle. Some Mandela effect. People think he has a monocle on all the time. It's only in. Anyway. So let's take a look. Let's see if we can. That's pretty good, actually. It's very nice magnifying, actually. Which this could come in handy. Now, I'm gonna say, I don't know if everybody might want this dangling. I have some dangly things on my keys. I, I am likely, I might actually use this. Like, I really might use this. This could be useful to me in the shop. I can think of times when I might wanna use this. But I might, I may, just use some tools, uh, all you need is pliers, to shorten this chain. Maybe connect this guy right here directly to this guy right here. Shorten that up a bit so it's not as dangly because I, you know, I would probably take it off my keys to actually use it. But um, it's nice and protected inside this ring, um, which I like. So if you drop it, it's not likely it's got to land directly on something to hit the glass. You know, it's like inset. But it does a great job of magnifying. It's pretty good. All right, six ninety nine. Not bad actually. But again, I have I have use for it 
I don't know if everybody else out there has use for it, but I like it because I can use it. Cool. Next, we've got a a uh, PVC morale patch. Now, I'm going to say this like I say, but this is not a hit on Monthly Knife Club. Uh, this is a hit on everybody. I think patches should be just give me items. I had to smell it. Um, this is a very nice patch. Very well made, very 3D, uh, and it will go up on the new patch panel, but um, I think that those should be, I think those should always be like, you know, gimme's. UST Heritage Pocket Knife. So that's this guy. Uh, this is $7.99. It, if, if you don't see the open L in this, that they're, that they're taking this from, then you've probably never seen an open L. So we have this little wrench here. What is that little wrench? Is it telling us what it's supposed to be? Blade and detachable. Oh, it's a detachable bottle opener. I'm an idiot. I should have known that's exactly what that was. Oh, that's like nothing. That's gonna. It's, it's it have the locking ring? It does. It's an off brand Open L. The fork doesn't lock, but look at a cute little fork. Look how cute it is. poke you. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we need to work on that. However, what, did my finger just sharpen it? I have magical properties I didn't know before. I don't know. The kids will probably think this is exciting. Very, very open uh, open L esque. That's a little floppy, but UST kind of Walmarty stuff. Um, a little bit math for me. I'm sure though. I'm sure you know. Again, in the right hands, useful kind of quick little tool. Um, maybe I can do something with it in the shop. Mighty Hanks, great white EDC value. Now, this is another one. Okay, so I'm not into this, but I, on EDC groups <clears throat> um, on Facebook, man, people love these things. I don't get it. So, okay, guys, break it down to me. Explain to me the obsession with the Hanks. Um, now, I've asked somebody, and they were like, well, you know, what if you got to blow your nose? And I'm like, and then you got to put a snotty, slimy thing back in your pocket but actually this does feel really nice okay all right that feels really nice um i guess but the mighty hanks and then there's another company i can't remember what it is they people collect the living shit out of these things um you know what this is and and someone else said well you know it's for when you do pocket dump pictures and i'm like are you walking around to set up pocket dump pictures because honestly it's a little extra um, but this would make, you know, here's my pocket. I mean, it would, I, I get it. I get it. Um, I would rather blow my nose in a tissue and throw the tissue away. That's all I'm saying, guys. Don't want to carry snot in my pocket. But this is a really nice microfiber feel on the one side. And then, what does that say? There's something printed on the other side of that. Um, but that's, it is kind of a cool little thing. You know what you could do with this? You know what you could do, thinking outside the box, if you don't have like a valet tray or something, you could just you could just put this down on a shelf and this could be your little valet hank where you put your keys and stuff every day. I don't know. But again, there are people that love these that have literally hundreds of different ones. So at least that's kind of a cool design. And sticker for the new cutting board, which project you guys will see soon in the shop. You know what I'll do with this? Put all the other stuff on it. Okay. And finally, we have a Camillus sizzle folder, value of $55.98. All right, I don't have a lot of, a lot of high apple pie in the sky hope on this guy. You know what I'm gonna do? Hang on. Side note, just letting you guys know, just in case you care. 
So there was a, uh, a pretty uh, cheap Borderlands bundle uh, on the Xbox store. $9.99 for Borderlands 2, which used to be on Game Pass for free, but uh, Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel, and like something, you get some kind of bonus with it. $9.99. So I uh, bought it and downloaded it. I've been playing a lot of Borderlands lately, and uh, I have, I mean, Aiden found somewhere on like clearance some off-brand Nerf gun, but I swear, I've always said it looks like a Borderlands gun, and I think we're going to do an in-the-shop makeover and paint it up like, like one of the, you know, companies... Uh, I think it would make a great Torg gun. There, I was just killing time while I opened this. So, is this the lock? Ooh! All right. Now, I'm not thrilled by the knife. Although I will say this backspacer is something I would have made out of G10 like five years ago. <laughs> thinking it was super cool. Um, and this has some grip. I still might make a backspacer like this thinking it's cool. I can't talk shit. Um, but, and then, okay. All right, A plus for mechanics. That is fidgety. I do enjoy that. Um, and you've got aluminum kind of stuff. I can do such stuff. Aluminum overlaid onto G10. That's some craziness. And then, it is smooth, I, you know, it's smooth, I can't. All right, so you gotta hit this and drop it. I wanted to hate this, cause it's a little, G and G Hawk. I should have known and I should not be surprised. The same guys that gave us the Mantis gearhead. They love to do, that. Now, now it all comes together. It all makes sense, guys, it all makes sense. Um, you've got the, almost steampunk vibe of, of the aluminum overlaid on the G10, the crazy spine um, backspacer, and now this whatever the hell kind of funky fidgety lock totally makes sense. G and G Hawk design. They're, you know, this coating on the blade crap up to 10 times harder than untreated steel. Than untreated steel. Who's gonna untreat steel? Who's gonna give you a knife blade that's un... And by untreated, I have to believe they mean not heat treated. Whatever. Whatevs. Um, Aus 8 steel. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad steel. Aus 8. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad. This is. I was ready to. I was ready to fucking shit all over this thing. This is the kind of knife that I could just fidget with. Not bad, not bad. However, however, we haven't done this yet. Not bad. Okay, sizzle, I'll play your game. I've earned a spot. You've earned a spot on the shark. All right, cool. So that's the advanced. Let's go to the premium. Everything including the stat gear scrawl tactical pen. All right, you've you've been promoted. Sorry, open all wannabe. You're going to stay there and the sizzle's going to open the tactical pen. Stat gear has given us some cool stuff. I've I've enjoyed some things by stat gear in the past. This looks very simple. Very lightweight. What is it made of? Aluminum, I'm assuming. Schmidt Hegeline, Hegeline, 48.89. A pressurized stainless steel tip ink cartridge. With unlimited shelf life. Carbide tip, aluminum construction. 1.3 ounces. Uh, right poop to test it out. Writes like a standard ballpoint and, you know, writes poop nicely. 
question is, since it's pressurized, can we write poop upside down? We can write poop upside down. Yay. All right. Now, people ask all the time, what, what the hell is a tactical pen? Tactical pen is a pen that can be used for self-defense if you know the techniques. That has a value of $49.99, bringing the whole box value to $149.94. And now we're gonna look at the ultimate, and that is everything in the premium plus the Civivi Imperium carbon fiber with copper. That's a lot of this and that. But a Civivi is always a good knife. Remember, Civivi is just a Wii with a slightly smaller price tag. And this is a 104, oh, holy. 104.95. Jeez, that's, I thought that was like oiled. That is slick. I don't like that weird cut in it there. But that is polished. Some stickers. The Civivi brand deal instructions, you know, for using your knife. Now, what is the blade on this? Shredded carbon fiber and copper shred in clear resin, contoured handle, Nitro V. Damn. Look fancy. And still a plastic backspacer. Can't have everything. Can't have everything. You know what's awesome? Is the camera picking this up? The depth so it is everything suspended in the clear resin. Do you see the depth of the resin and the pieces suspended in it? I hope it's picking it up. It's not just flat. It's 3D. Beautiful deep carry clip. That's, that's really, that's really nice. Does it front flip? Oh, it does nicely and easily too. Well, I gotta work on that. Super nice matte coated blade. Oh, that's beautiful. Dave's gonna love this. Thumb studs, thumb studs and a front flipper. This is truly soup for everyone. Feels very nice in my hand and it's big enough for the big hands. You even have that little choil out there too. This is a beautiful knife. Well, that sucked. But this piece of paper is getting pretty much cut up. There's nothing I could do about it at this point. There we go. I just, it's all torn up. I understand this is only a $104 knife because it's a Civivi, but you know what? This could be in the Onyx. I mean, they could, they could make this more expensive and put it in the Onyx box and people would be happy. This is a great way to top out this box. This knife is beautiful. And carry worthy. Carry worthy. Lady C worthy. Look at it. Super skeletonization on that liner. Can you see it? To cut down your weight and everything. Beautiful. So as boxes go, I don't always get to show you guys the ultimate box because it's only when he has an extra one. But... You know, the truth is, of all the things I was ready to on, I, you know, I, you guys know I talk shit when I talk shit. Um, I don't think this should be charged. I think, I, you know, a valued item. I think this should be free. I think all, pa all, all, all company branded things should be free in the box. This, for me, has use. For you guys, I get it. If, if you say like, oh, well, that's whatever. Uh, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it, though. Um, I know people are not a big fan of tactical pens. Um... I actually, this is right here on the desk because I carry my O-Pen 2 all the time at work though because um, it's heavy and I can beat somebody to death with it, but it's, you know, it's a good, reliable, solid pen. I mean, there, there's a value to having that nice heavy metal pen. This is a little bit lighter, but if you, like I said before, over and over, if you know the techniques, like my best friend Adam, who used to torture me because he did martial arts and I didn't, and he knew how to use a Kubaton and pen. Like, you can you can inflict pain with these things, seriously. This, I'm still like, meh. There's gonna be people that are gonna love the cuteness factor, that are gonna like the fact that it's like a very, 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 very budget open out. I was totally prepared 
to hate on this guy, but it's a nice, solid little EDC guy. It, it really is. I can't talk. I mean, it doesn't even, it, it's not even Chinese alphabet steel. It's OS 8. I was, re I was ready for it to be like 7CR or something coming from Camillus. Decent knife. And then, of course, this beauty right here. Gorgeous. And you know what? I'm still not on board with all the Hanks, but it does make a nice background to display everything. And uh, the Hank collectors are, are going to like this thing. Um, I cannot, you know, there, there's some things like, there's some great shit in this box. There's a couple things that I'm like, I can live without easily. Um, but if I if I did pay for this box, if I had thrown money down, I'd be happy. I'd be I'd be happy. Right here, I'd be happy. And then this would be like, okay, cool, too. I could make good use of the Hank, and this would probably go to one of the boys and, you know. So I would be happy with the box. If, if I paid for it and I got it, I really would, really would. Uh, what do you guys think is the important question of everything in this box? I wanna thank you, Daryl, Monthly Knife Club, for finding uh, another extra one. We don't always, like I said, don't always get to look at these ultimate boxes, but it's really cool when we do. Some of this might find its way into some giveaways for folks. We'll see how it all shakes out as the moving gets settled, um, but. As you guys are sharing your opinions, please don't ever forget that you guys are all absolutely awesome. And I appreciate every single one of you. And I will be back again real soon.